Hey everyone, uh, I'm Zucky. Uh, you guys probably know me from all of the various Cosmos work. Um, I'm here to talk to you about a new protocol built on top of the Cosmos SDK. Um, it's called Sommelier. Um, Sommelier is, uh, for those who are not familiar, is sort of the guy who in a restaurant who helps you select your wine. Um, and what Sommelier is really built around is the idea that a Cosmos blockchain can be more than just um, sort of another competing layer one. It can augment um, anywhere where DeFi activity is going on and sort of fill in gaps that exist in existing protocols. Um, so what we really want to show is how a Cosmos chain can help build sort of uh, 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 provide sort of financial uh, uh, positions that you can't and automate financial positions that you can't normally do uh, in other chains um, with their sort of native protocols. So um, providing liquidity to Uniswap and other AMMs is an amazing opportunity for investors. Um, I think this is one of the coolest things about the sort of um, emergence of constant function market makers in the space. Uh, market making has historically been a very um, specialized activity that many that you know is open only to sort of very sophisticated firms uh, requires a lot of proprietary knowledge. Um, and one of the things that I think is sort of going to be key to sort of constant function market makers providing permissionless liquidity to the entire world is we must make uh, uh, providing liquidity sort of democratized, accessible. Anyone who wants to be a hodler should be able to also be a, a market maker in this world. Um, so because of this, because of the accessibility, because of the interest, because of the profits that are being earned on many liquidity pools, um, this is one of the fastest growing activities in DeFi. So when you look at unique uh, liquidity provider numbers have just been exploding on Uniswap and all of the other constant function market makers in Ethereum and beyond. Um, but there's a downside, right? Um, it's a sort of unusual position um, to hold uh, for a constant function market maker. Um, it's easy to lose money as an LP. Um, I think Andrew Miller uh, uh, put it nicely. Uh, providing liquidity on Uniswap is a great way to say, I want more of whichever performs worst out of these two assets. Um, and you know that's generally not what people want um, uh, when they are trying to um, uh, hold coins in blockchains. They don't want to be uh, uh, rebalanced out of their best performing asset. Um, so bull markets leave liquidity providers holding the bag on millions in opportunity costs and real losses. Um, ETH liquidity providers must monitor their positions 24 seven and frequently rebalance to avoid adverse market conditions. Um, so this is, this is the real challenge, right? Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a gap in the abstractions that Ethereum provides, um, that you can't ask Ethereum to monitor a position for you. You can't, you know, pay a bunch of gas and, and get it to do so. Instead, you have to, uh, 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 you know, uh, the uh, sort of, uh, you know, Ethereum investors don't sleep, have to spend all day clicking and sending transactions um, uh, model has become dominant. Um, and so, you know, we built, and you're gonna see a little bit more of this when Jack's uh, uh, demo comes up, but we've built a, a Uniswap impermanent loss calculator to help people sort of visualize returns on liquidity positions. Um, and you, as you can see, you know, the uh, a link ETH position on Uniswap, which was, you know, hugely profitable uh, through most of the year suddenly becomes extremely unprofitable uh, in the ETH bull market. Um, so what we are building is the finest in trade automation tools for liquidity providers, um, automated and permanent stop loss, automated portfolio uh, rebalancing coming later, um, and we are building a fully decentralized open protocol uh, to do so. Um, and so we think this opportunity is massive to just scale providing liquidity in DeFi uh, to basically every token hodler out there. Um, uh, and that will uh, sort of provide like great returns to, uh, to hodlers. Um, so our real goal is um, in Q1 more than anything else is to onboard um, and demonstrate product market fit for this use case uh, and product market fit for a use of sort of Cosmos Ethereum integration that sort of goes beyond bridges. Um, so we have a great team that's contributing to this. Um, 
and you know a sort of uh, a unique open structure of how we're uh, how we're building. You know, um, we have a network of sort of protocol founders here that I think are doing a great job, um, and we've been executing very quickly. Um, so come talk to us. Uh, investors at sommelier.finance is a great place to reach us. Um, more and more community sort of entry points will be opening up in the next couple of weeks. Um, and now I'd like to throw to uh, Jack Zamplin and his demo video. Hello. I'm excited to show you what we've been working on here at Sommelier, where we've been thinking beyond pegged tokens and bridges. If you're a Uniswap per liquidity provider right now, you're losing money. Prices are going up into the right, and your pool token represents more and more of whichever asset is performing worse. If you'd like to see how much worse, you can use Sommelier to do that today. Just enter the pool, your date of entry, how much liquidity you provided, and you'll quickly see your fees as well as any impermanent loss your position is suffering. Tomorrow, you'll be able to connect your wallet and protect your position using an impermanent stop loss on Sommelier. Just input the loss amount you can tolerate using the slider, and just like that, you save money using Cosmos. If you'd like to get some, go to app.sommelier.finance today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and this has been a great demo day. All right, put me in there. Okay, awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Cosmos. Wait, okay, so let me, let me get this correct. This is another like wild presentation. Are you telling me that I'm going to be using Cosmos to implement stop loss trades on Ethereum? That is the plan. And the plan wait, and, for the, the wait, hold on. Let's slow, slow it down. Slow it down. Let me make it slow so I can understand it. What you're telling me is that I'm using another blockchain to essentially generate profits on Ethereum. So like a good ape, I can automate a lot of my trades in this fast new network. Is that what I'm hearing? Absolutely. And, wait, okay. And, and, <laughs> This is funny it's because impermanent loss is a big deal. I mean, I mean, this e essentially implement it impacts all the pools. Absolutely, it's uh, awesome. and should should allow all the pools to grow enormously, right? Because um, people don't have to, you know, sort of think and worry uh, about joining pool. That's awesome, and and this is going to be using the newest Cosmos SDK. Like I, everybody's talking about all this new Cosmos Stargate stuff. Is that this is going to be using that? All driven using Cosmos Stargate, using the bridge technology that we've developed with Althea, um, and a bunch of other protocol improvements that basically make this whole thing feel like a native Ethereum experience. Wait, okay, so hold on. Is this going to be like a public chain that anybody could build on? Like, did I, I mean, is it just Sommelier or, or is it going to be open? Like, what am I thinking here? So Sommelier's model is we're sort of going, taking sort of the app first approach. Um, we're doing something different. We're doing something sort of unique that hasn't been done in the blockchain space before, and we want to prove out that it works. But the conceptual framework then can then be extended, expanded, and made programmable um, so that that anyone can build a liquidity management tool on top of Sommelier um, that appeals to the DeFi liquidity ecosystem. I love it. I love it. Um, all right. This is awesome. Congratulations. Uh, again, you've done a lot of work in the Cosmos space, so I'm sure that uh, this this vision comes from you having spent, a, a, I mean, a, a big bunch of time working on bringing IBC to life, bridges to life. So I, I expect that you're going to go big with this one, huh? Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, Saki. That is another amazing presentation. Congratulations. And uh, we will see you in the Telegram. All right.